Good day, everyone. Today, our topic is all about the unifying themes in the study of life. The unifying themes of life give us an idea of how each of these themes contributes to the connection and interaction of living organisms and their environment. Now let us define first what is biology. The common definition of biology is the study of life, but let us have a more complex definition of biology. It is a natural science that studies life and living organisms, including their physical structure, chemical processes, molecular interactions, physiological mechanisms, development, and evolution. It also shapes our understanding of our world from human health to biotechnology to environmental preservation. The following concepts are related to the unifying themes that connect concepts from any fields in biology. These are energy and life, regulation, adaptation, evolution, biology and society. We also have biological system, the cellular basis of life, structure and function, reproduction and inheritance, interaction with the environment. A biological system is a complex network of biologically relevant entities. It captures the importance how a combination of parts can be more complex organization system but all levels of life have systems of related parts. For example, for the human body system, every part of the human body has a system of related parts. For example, a cell is a system of chemicals and processes. Our body, like the other organism, is a living system. We make use the interactions among its parts of the body in performing different activities. To further explain what is a biological system, the movement depends on the contractions of the muscles attached to the bones. Muscles are coordinated by signals from the brain carried by the nerves. Finally, the blood vessels supply all these parts with oxygen and food. Together, the parts of the body enable us to perform different activities. Another illustration of a biological system it's an ecosystem which includes living and non-living things that interact to one another. The organisms in the ecosystem require a steady supply of certain chemicals to live. For example, plants obtain most of their energy chemicals from the soil, water, and air. Animals acquire most of the chemicals they need by eating plants or other animals. Chemicals are returned to the soil by bacteria and fungi that decompose the waste and remains of organisms. The cellular basis of life is part of the unifying themes of life. All organisms are made up of cells. The cell is the basic unit or the building block of life. If an organism is made up of only one cell, it is called unicellular. If an organism is made up of many cells, it is called multicellular. Let us see how it works. Most of multicellular organisms have two specialized cells. Muscle cells contract and enable you to move. For the nerve cells, it transmits impulses that control your muscles. Most of the multicellular cells are organized in levels of organization, beginning with the cellular level. The next is the tissue, which is a group of specific function for example, the nerve tissue consists of complex network. Several types of tissues together make up structure called organ. An organ that consists of nerve tissue and other type of tissues. Finally, several organs that together carry out a major function make up the organ system called the nervous system. A multicellular organism's development and survival are based in the functions and interactions of its many cells. This cellular basis of life is a theme that you will encounter often as you explore the living world. The structure and function of every step of biological hierarchy structure and function are connected. For example, different cells have specific components that help them carry out their duties. Red blood cells which carry the oxygen 
are formed differently than the white blood cells that fight infection. The relationship between structure and function is also apparent in entire organisms and the physiological systems that serve them. Structure and function are related in biological structure determines the function. The structure is the shape of the object. The function is the object-specific role proteins with different structures perform different functions. Heart muscle cells have a different structure and different species have different anatomical structures. The reproduction and inheritance of all living things reproduce involves the transfer of genetic information from parents to offspring. Inheritance is the passing on of genetic information from their parents. Therefore, inheritance explains why parents and their children have similar characteristics. The fifth unifying theme in the study of life is the interaction of organisms to their environment. There is no organism that is completely isolated or disconnected from their surroundings as each organism continues to interact with its environment. For example, plant obtains water and nutrients from the soil, carbon dioxide gas from the air, and energy from sunlight. Plant uses these three inputs from its environment to perform photosynthesis. This is the process by which plants make their own food. The six themes in the study of life is the energy and life. All organisms need a source of energy to carry out life processes, moving, growing, reproducing, and other activities require energy to perform work depends on the source of energy. Energy obtains chemicals from sugar, fats, and other fuels like molecules in the food through the process of metabolism. Metabolism is a chemical process that builds up or breaks down the materials. With regards to the regulation or homeostasis of living organisms, it allows every individual to survive the ability to regulate their internal conditions. It is an example of homeostasis or steady state, a mechanism that makes organisms regulate their conditions despite changes in their external environment. Such activity can be observed in mammals, birds, and other forms of organisms. The adaptation of organisms in an inherited trait that gives advantage to organisms and is passed on to future generations. It is an inherited trait that helps organisms the ability to survive and reproduce in the environment. In natural selection, genetic traits help some individuals of species to survive and reproduce more successfully than others in particular environment. Next, we have evolution. It is a unifying theme in biology that explains changes in organisms over long periods of time. Evolution is a change in living things over time, a process of change in the genetic makeup of subgroup population of species. Evolution links biology and cells to the biosphere. Evolution is simply a long-term response to the environment. Finally, we have the biology and society. Knowledge from biological science can be applied to specific problems in the society to improve human life. For example, the development of vaccine against poliomyelitis virus in the 1950s was a scientific breakthrough that had a large impact on society. By producing the polio vaccine in bulk and distributing it throughout the world, scientists, business leaders, and governments have worked together to reduce the threat of polio. Currently, we have the development of COVID-19 vaccines. The vaccine is still an ongoing process to achieve its high efficacy of the vaccine in response to the pandemic.